The Shenandoah salamander is an endangered, endemic salamander that lives on three of the tallest mountain peaks in Shenandoah National Park. It is a small amphibian that eats only meat and lives on rocky slopes in order to keep cool and moist. We know these things, but why do they matter? These small salamanders play a big role in the ecosystem of Shenandoah National Park. An ecosystem is a collection of living and non-living things interacting in different ways. The Shenandoah salamander is an animal interacting with things around it. We know that it is both a carnivore and a predator, meaning that it hunts other animals to eat and survive. Have you ever been outside and noticed bugs around you? There sure are a lot. These carnivores help to control populations of small animals like bugs and beetles in this area. The Shenandoah salamander is also an important meal for animals like snakes that must find food in these areas where fewer critters live. An ecosystem is like a teeter-totter. It needs to have balance. If one person leaves, it just doesn't work. Just like a teeter-totter, if the Shenandoah salamander were to disappear, it would disrupt the balance in the ecosystem in Shenandoah National Park. But an ecosystem is made up of more than just living things, right? The Shenandoah salamander impacts the soil and rocks around it as well. Salamanders will burrow underground, which can help improve the health of the soil by letting in water and air and mixing it. This burrowing can make it more difficult for scientists to find and study these animals. But studying them is worth it because they can tell us stories of the past and give us hints to the future. They may even be able to give us warning signs of what changes could be happening in the world around us. These are all reasons that we're working hard to learn more about the threats to the Shenandoah salamander. One of these threats comes in the form of the redback salamander, a common, closely related species of salamander that lives in similar habitat to the Shenandoah salamander, but also at lower elevations. These two species can have overlapping areas where they live, which can cause competition. But the redback salamander can live in many more places than the Shenandoah salamander can. In fact, don't tell them that I told you this, but the Shenandoah salamander can be really picky about where it lives. It has a very limited habitat. All living things need food, water, shelter, air, and space in order to survive. But these little salamanders take it to a whole new level. The Shenandoah salamander needs meat to eat, moisture to breathe through its skin, space above ground to hunt, space below ground to burrow, and rocks, dirt, and leaves to hide in and keep cool and moist. See, I told you. Picky picky. Lucky for them, their current home on three of the tallest mountain peaks in Shenandoah National Park provides all of these living conditions that they need. In fact, if you close your eyes and imagine tall mountain peaks, you may picture rocky slopes reaching high above into a cover of clouds. This cloud line, the area where clouds tend to exist, is important to provide moisture in the air that our little friends need to survive. While these mountain peaks are good habitat for the Shenandoah salamander today, the threat of climate change continues to grow. Climate change can lead to warmer temperatures, changes to the ecosystem, and changes in precipitation levels or cloud cover. These changes can impact competition, their limited habitat, and how they can survive. The future of the Shenandoah salamander is unknown, but studying this important species can give us clues about the future of our park and our planet.